Good morning, everybody. It is 4-8-2022, and we're back here in the shop at Around the Fire. And if you've been following us on Instagram or any of the other social media lately, you've probably seen this guy here. This is our uh, Sam 5 we're working on, and this one is all decked out in crook furniture. Um, it's pronounced crook, but it is spelled K-P-Y-K, and it means bird in Ukrainian, and that is their company and their logo. Very, very cool company. Um, very, very nice handguard. Uh, I'm sure some of you out there have seen the handguards. Um, it's essentially three pieces with a few little add-ons. It's the one big main piece. It does have like a little uh, secondary piece that comes apart to connect to the rear. And, uh, you know, it fits in there. Everything's pretty snug. Um, and then it's got, you know, your top piece, which is held on by two little side pieces. So quite a few more pieces than three. I'm actually being wrong there. And then a top piece there that slides in there and gives you the option to run, you know, like a flashlight kind of, you know, out of the way of everything or a laser or something like that. Very, very cool handguard. Um, and then this is their specific model for the Arsenal um, rear end. But this is their folding, or I'm sorry, not the folding model. This is their uh, cheek rise stock. Multiple positions there. And then also pinch under there, extendable. Very, very cool, very, very well made. Um, a lot of people are familiar with like Zenit Co., which is Russian. And this is sort of you know, I'd say an equivalent Ukrainian counterpart. So with everything going on in the world, um, you know, support Viva, you know, Ukraine. So um, that's not necessarily where the idea for this build came from. I've been using these in the shop for a while now, and I've just kind of wanted to desperately get my hands on some personally for myself. I've used these for clients for a while now and, uh, you know, custom builds for people. And uh, I've always wanted some, but I never pulled the trigger and got myself some. And I said, hey, you know, with everything going on, now is the time. And I was lucky enough to find a few pieces because these guys are based in Kiev, Ukraine. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that right now they are probably not um, producing or shipping so anything that's out there is probably like back stock right now and it's going to be gone pretty quickly. Um, this firearm, you know, I kind of can't decide what to do with it just yet. Um, I'm probably going to leave it in the rifle configuration for now. But I do have an inkling in me to cut this down, replace the front uh, gas block system here with a sight post gas block and an adjustable 12 position system that we have. Um, make a little SBR out of it. I'm not positive on what length that would be at that point. Um, it'd probably be in the 13 something range is what I'm guessing there. Maybe a little shorter, maybe around 12, 11.5 uh, ish. And you know, something, something in there. It's, it's, a, it's a chunk, you know, you'd be removing there. so. You know, but um, that would be something for a later day. And, you know, it is an arsenal, so maybe I shouldn't molest it too much. Um, but, yeah, cool products. Um, one thing I did notice this morning, as I had just put the stock on last night, that I will show you here. And this is a newer product from them. These are... Uh, our arsenal specific pieces i do believe are kind of about you know released this year maybe last year so if you notice here let's see if i can pick this up their retaining block in the back here um, once you set this in the receiver that block you know has a bolt that passes through tightens into the uh threaded rear of this and pulls it all together nice and tight along with your top tang you got to cut your uh, bottom tang you do not have to um drill out the rivets and remove it so it still leaves the structure there holding everything together with the trigger guard so you're not dealing with something wonky um, but you can see the bolt itself in the carrier is uh hidden on their retaining block back there and the uh, first couple of racks this morning 
when I was just kind of playing with it. Um, the gun was actually seasoning up on the uh, rear end there. You had to give it a, a good tap to get it to go back home. And right now it's not gonna do that, obviously it pops up, but you can see, I mean, there's no marks on the bolt, but it's obviously, I'm, I'm gonna say it's the that tail end of the bolt sticking out there, because that's you know, kind of your lowest part that would come that far back. Yeah, I don't think it's the carrier itself, but there's no uh, nasty marks or anything like that. I just think that if you're gonna put one of these in yourself, dremel that down a little bit. Um, and I'm sure that's something that they'll correct in the future because they do make a lot of changes to their products. If you um, look at some of the images of the product that they that you might be buying from them, you might notice that yours might come with a few little visual changes compared to like what's it pictured in the manual and stuff like that. So they do uh, make you know definite improvements as they go along. But yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys, show you what's up there. Really nice, lightweight product, uh, really solid, uh, not cheap. I want to say they're going for about 250 bucks for the handguard, about 250 bucks, give or take, for the butt stocks. But uh, if you're going for a custom build, you know, you can't get Zenitco stuff right now. You know, if you can find some of this stuff, this might be a really cool alternative. All right, guys, talk to you soon.